Hi everybody, this is Vitorials and today we are going to create this feature spinet icon inside Adobe Illustrator and then in the next lesson I'm gonna show you how to create this 3D vector spinner inside Adobe Illustrator. So first thing first, let's start with our new document. Go to File, New, I'm gonna size this document with 1920 and 1080, click OK. As always I'm gonna turn off Align to Pixel Grid and increase the row size of my layer so everybody can see them properly. Start with the ellipse tool. Grab your ellipse tool, click once on your artboard and set link between width and height. Set the width to 250 pixels, click OK to create an ellipse. Make sure that you align it to the artboard and align it both horizontally and vertically to the center. Then grab your uh, rectangle tool, especially if you walk inside the uh, CC version of uh, Illustrator, create a rectangle. So, uh, for our rectangle, I'm gonna set the width to 250 pixels and for height to 500 pixels. So, height is twice as larger than width. Click OK and I'm gonna set fill to none by clicking on this slash. And then I want to align it to the uh, horizontally to the center. Make sure that your uh, smart glass is tuned on. Ctrl U, Command U to turn smart glass on. Holding Shift key, move it like so. So the bottom side of our rectangle is aligned with the bottom point of our circle. And now select your uh, rectangle, go to the switch to direct selection tool and drag on this bullet to the max. So now your corners is around 125 pixels, you, it indicates here. Now I want to add an ellipse here to this composition, add this small ellipse right here, maybe drag it a little bit to the bottom with my uh, uh, down arrow key, uh, group this composition, my rounded rectangle and this little circle. Now I want to go, I want to go to my uh, rotate tool or click R, find the center of your document and this circle, keep selected this group and I click or option click on your mark to open the rotate dialog box. Here set the angle of rotation to 120 degrees and click copy. Now Ctrl D, Command D to make a duplicate of this uh, transformation and ungroup all of your all of your three groups. Now I want to select all this circle and this uh, rounded rectangles, all of them, all three. Go to my Pathfinder. If you can find your Pathfinder, go to the Windows Pathfinder. Here it is. And I want to click on the first uh, first command Unite to make my fidget spinner. Now I want to uh, go to my switch to my direct selection tool. Select this anchor points right in the middle. All of them. As you can see, a fillet, other hollow, and I want to drag on this bullet to round the corner. Now we have this uh, nice uh, fidget spinner shape, and I want to make a triangle. First of all, I want to find the center of first of my uh, small circle and go to the center of this uh, circle on top, and then to the circle. Uh, on my right, close, I'm sorry, close this triangle and in the middle of this triangle I want to place my circle actually. So it looks like that. Something like that and then I want to make a duplicate of this circle with Ctrl C, Ctrl F or Command C, Command F on your Mac make this duplicate smaller. So I have my fidget spinner icon. I want to increase the stroke size here to around 4 uh, pixels. 
I want to draw another uh, circle, but in this in this uh, case I want to make it much larger. I want to start with the center. Keep selected the circle. Control Shift Left Bracket to move it to the bottom. Send it to back. As you can see now, this uh, large uh, selected uh, is now sitting on my back. To the body of my fidget spinner, I want to add this uh, white color. Using my control left bracket, I want to set it to the back. So it's sitting now right, right on this large circle. Then I want to go assess my scale tool. Double click on it. And here I want to set uniform value to 90 degrees. And click copy to produce a smaller copy of this circle. And then Ctrl D to repeat this operation or Command D on your mark. So we have this spinner lines and I want to increase the stroke width of these lines to uh, let's say 5 points and then go to the object path outline stroke. So as you can see now they are rep all represented by compound path and they all have this black fill and none of them has a stroke. Then I want to select the body of this feature spinner and make a, a, a larger copy of this uh, body. But before we move further, we need to create a new layer. Click on this icon below on your layers panel. And then I want to move, select all of my fidget spinner, this original shape, and move it on the new layer using this small, very small, let me show you. Square. I'm gonna move it to the next layer. And then I want to select this body. Go to my object, path, and offset path. In open dialog box set the offset value to 15 pixels. Check preview, click OK. And now I want to grab this copy of my fidget spinner body and move it to the layer below. Like so. Next I want to lock this layer on top with my original shape. And maybe even make it invisible. So we now working with these three circles and this body. And I want to select this body, go to the object, path, and divide object below. By using this option, we divided all of these three paths that is sitting below by this shape. So I want to delete all unnecessary stuff and I want to leave only my paths. And I want to click on this air ball to return the original shape and unlock this layer. And last step, I want to hold in shift key, select all of these spinning waves, go to my color picker and set it to a little bit brighter color, maybe to this gray. So, and this is, my friends, how we can create a fidget spinner icon inside Adobe Illustrator. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe, thumb up, share it with your friends. And thank you for following to the end. Have a nice day.